Greetings, my rare hunters. It is I, Marek. And uh, welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Origins. On the last episode, we, we helped out some rebels and killed some bad guys. Helped out a priest. It was all, it was all nice and touchy-feely stuff. Uh, today, though, I hope we find some epic things... In the desert, we've already found the Great Twins Stone Circle. I'm not actually sure how many of these damn things were missing. So the twins, that should be what, Gemini? Or what is it in... What is it in ancient Egypt? Papa, you know how you're Egyptian, and mother is Greek. What if Egypt and Greece go to war? Greeks and Egyptians do not hate each other. We are all the same. It feels like they do. A priest in the temple school said Greeks were destroying Egypt. He was wrong to say that. There is good and bad in everyone. You are the child of both Egypt and Greece. You are proof they do not hate each other. Ah, the great twins. To the Greeks, they are twin brothers. To Egyptians, they are he-goats that rise from the underworld, bringing pestilence and protection. Even the gods have two sides. Wow, so I is Greek. So she's... That explains her, like, allegiance to Cleopatra and all the Roman shit. I wonder if that'll... That'll have any effect on the story. Look, it looks like two ugly babies. We were here so long, you turned from night to day. All right, well, that was fun. Time to go discover something else. Whoa. What the hell is this? Seth and that tomb. Um. Whoa. This is a tomb? This looks more like I'm about to walk into a Forerunner facility. I kind of don't want to go in here. Let's have Sandy get a look from above. Why are there lasers? Holy shit, this thing is huge. Pause. Wow, what in the hell is this? Who is Seth and Nat? And uh, what is up with his Tomb of Doom? What are with those lasers? Am I supposed to do something with the weird mirrors and shit? There is an item up there. Can, can we climb this though? We can climb some of it. something I can move. Oh wait, it has another one of those things on it! So wait, now the light is bouncing. I'm so confused. Am I supposed to follow the light? Follow the light as you enter the darkness. Yeah, that sounds about right. Man, I don't see any more shit. There's 
one up there. You can't climb this. Two drachma and three arrows. That wind. Sandstorm coming. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure a sandstorm is like the least of my worries. I cannot jump over that. Unless that light is like hard light, like in Halo. I'm pretty sure it's not, though. Can I, like, jump down and land on the horse? <clears throat> Somehow, I doubt it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't just free fall! Stand still, you stupid horse! Oh wow, is this actually a door? That wind will raise the sands. What the? There's like a force field. Ah, uh, but this room doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> and I can't climb up there. I, I don't know what I'm doing here. Three drachma. Alright, so I guess I need to pull this one out too. What is that? I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Hey, a silica! Okay, there's a lot of... There's a lot of shit around here. There's so many things to discover here. Hey, like a skull! I did not touch it. Alright, so we're gonna come at this from the other end. Uh, pause. I feel like... I feel like we have another set of the, the light mirror shit to do over here. I mean, I could be wrong. But I couldn't find anything else to do over there. Uh. <clears throat> hey, look, another silica. Uh, pick it up. Couldn't left me nothing else. What is with this? This is supposed to be a tomb. This is weird as shit. Oh, hey, look. Oh, wow, one. Oh, a shitty bow. The f 
fuck is with the creepy ass sounds? There's another silica. No secret, you know, breakable walls or anything. Sandstorm coming. I'm pretty sure I'm safe from the sandstorm in this concrete tomb. Wow, three drachma. That's nice. The wind rises, and the sand with it. What is with all these rooms that have dead ends? <laughs> that wind. Sandstorm coming. Another silica. I have a feeling whatever is at the end of this, uh... Yeah. Not good. What's not good? Whoa! Well, we found the entrance. Or at least one of them. Afraid to touch anything in here. Let's go ahead and grab all the silica. Look at these little light particles in the air. Something is in here. Kind of afraid to find out what. We're about to wake up the fucking Didac and shit. And I'm not sure I'm ready to meet the Forerunners yet. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's show some respect. Let's light the little shits. Check this out. Ancient writing from the old kingdom. Yeah, we already know that. Location completed. I'm pretty sure that that's bullshit. All right, let's put the fire away. Not safe to run with fire. Whoa. Going to Ka Ayibi. I knew there was something else in here with me. Hold on, I passed something. Glory be to Osiris, who never. The great god within Abydos, king of eternity, lord of the everlasting, keeper of the scales, who passeth through millions of years in his existence. Guard these fallen warriors, heroic souls who died defending the eternal kingdom. Grant them splendor in heaven, might upon earth, and triumph in neater Kurt. Grant them cakes and ale. Hey, I'll take some cake. They go with the leader. The great general Omner, Omnihair. Who? I get it. This is a tomb that Seth and Nat is a. He's one of the forerunners. What do they call them in this? I can't. I can't fucking remember what they're called in Assassin's Creed. I knew it though. There was. A, an ancient mechanism in here. And 
there's some loot and stuff too. I almost think that all those all those little light things needed to be activated in order to activate whatever. Okay, let's not wake up these uh these dead people. I don't want any zombie mummies attacking me. Don't step on them. Watch your feet. More silica. I will take. I said I will take it. I'll take this one too. This place is pretty cool. Literally in the middle of nowhere. Another silica. What is this? This is the mechanism. I'm not ready to play with that yet. <clears throat> there are a lot more dead people. That one is not even... Not even wrapped up. I doubt that's going to be the first one to attack me. Now this silica... Wow, trash treasure. In this of all places. What does this one say? I am the great general Omnihair. Thoth the king of eternity is with me. I am the great god in the boat of the sun. I fought against the Nubians. I took from them their most revered prince. And kept the pygmy as a prize. Men weep and women be bewail. For I am gone from this realm and sail to the next. He should have said into the next I sail and it would have been a perfect rhyme. Freaking ignorant bitch. Um. I don't know who he is. I feel like, what are they called? Ah, uh, the ancient people. The, the forerunner people. What the fuck are they called? Hey, another chest. Also with ass. Couldn't give me one legendary shit. See, I feel like something should... There should be a light or something shining on that. So I think we need to go back outside and turn the rest of this shit on. See, there's another one of those light mirrors. So there has to be something we have to do with it. Alright, so the light bounces around. And it goes to that... That mirror over there. Uh, not today, bitch. Not fucking today. Wow, there sure are a lot of these damn things. I'm tired of these snakes on this plane of existence. Why are you still alive? I very violently asked you to be dead with that arrow. Okay, thanks. Whoa, Sounds don't... Homecoming. Don't jump off the shit. Alright, so there needs to be... Is there a mirror down there? I think so. Uh, but I can't fly, yo. I need like a bat hook so that I can just zip down there. Great, now we're caught in the middle of the fucking sand store. A 
not get lost. We're already lost, you fool. Oh my shit, I can't see anything in front of me. We're gonna stay in this fucking corner unless we fall to our death. And uh, I don't know about you, but I'm not about that shit. All right, it's starting to pass over. Now I still have to figure out how to get over there. Um. All right, we're we're a skilled assassin ninja, right? We can make this jump, right? Right? Never try that shit again. I like how there's actually, like, giant steps that are built. Whoa. They're like, hey, this is where you're supposed to go. Ow, jeez, that is fucking bright. Look at the light particles from it. That is definitely not a natural phenomenon. Now it's shining down over there. <coughs> do I get back over there? I don't know how to do that. Okay, don't just jump off of shit. So it's shining on this light. Damn it. I don't know how to get up there. Oh my shit. Um, are those snakes flying? <laughs> I didn't even see where it fell. How the hell did you fuckers do that shit? I knew snakes were evil beings. <coughs> Never fuck with a snake. Why do you think Orochimaru is such a creep? Guess right where we're at. Oh, I'm not, I'm nervous. See, even he's nervous trying to climb back up. Right here, though. Grab on! Grab on! Okay, so apparently the mirror was supposed to shine through the, the hole. We weren't supposed to get there and pull another mirror. Uh, this looks so much cooler in the fucking moonlight, though. It's nice and dark, and all you see is the light instead of, you know, from the sun and bullshit. Uh, it is kind of dark, though. That, that helps me a, a little tiny bit. I don't know if doing that actually did anything, though. Because it just shines light down on this, unless it's supposed to show you this is what you're supposed to interact with. Which, I already knew that. That's kind of a letdown, but let's go ahead. Place five. How many do I have? Because I had 50. I have 64, okay. As long as I have enough for the stone circle shit. Retransmission, segment five. Acquiring contemporary aid. It has been 105 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. The color blue. We believe everyone sees it as we do. Ocean, sky, international climb blue. What's to say yours and mine are of the same hue? Do you truly see it as I do? Frequencies so high only a few can hear their cue. 
a heightened response of food, colors invisible to the human eyes save for a few, a high voice perceived as living glass. Perceptions shape reality. Color blindness, tinnitus, super tasting, tetrachromacy, synesthesia. Reality is a mathematical model which gets solved over and over again by the observer. Your thoughts are computations, and they render this world for you to call your own. Not all processors are alike. Different brains produce different realities. The variations go from the subtle to the drastic. Your mind defines how much you can taste, how much you can feel, how much you can understand. Perception defines perspective. Where one sees a skull, the other sees a woman in a mirror. Where one hears silence, the other will hear entrancing voices. You experience what your brain allows you to perceive. We designed you and made sure to engineer your senses so you could perceive just what we needed you to, neither more nor less. There are parts of time we preferred you to remain blind to. It was a necessity. We have six senses, you have five. Can you guess the one missing? For centuries, humanity has fought for freedom. The real cage is not around you, it is in you. Your mind will not allow you to wander in uncharted territories. A Faraday cage for the mind. A concealed straitjacket. Events such as Upsweep and Julia fuel internet conspiracies. Sounds unknown, heard only once. A cabinet of curiosities for the modern age. And yet, they were messages just like this one waiting for their server, their compatible processor. Human visionaries developed a vague awareness of their limits. They wrote obscure research papers, popular science fiction novels, some asking us to stop the world. But that's all they ever were, fictions. How could they not be? Reality is what the observer allows it to be. The Doppler effect, the Mobius strip, deja vus, Cicada 3301, UVB 76, Eureka effects, ambigrams and anamorphosis, P versus NP. Is Schrodinger's cat dead or alive? It all depends on what you perceive on what the cage is not hiding for you to see. Think, think, let your mind be free. Explore the borders of your reality. So, we're only caged in our own mind. But it's not imaginary like people try to make it out to be. It's legitimately a cage. And uh, we have to figure out how to break free ourselves, I guess? Hello? I don't have a clue what she was trying to tell me. I thought maybe there would be like, like a hidden message or secret here, but I guess not. Let's, uh... 
Let's go ahead and get out of here before all the dead people wake up. Speaking of dead people... All these fucking skulls. <laughs> and, uh, I guess we'll, uh, instant transmission our way out of here. <laughs> Alright, so where am I? Oh, I'm back at... I'm back at the entrance. I'm still disappointed in the laser light show. Alright, we appear to have found another of the stone circles. Uh, this one is Apis, and uh, this is far from a circle. Yeah, not a circle in the least. What is best in life? To seek justice and truth. To live with honor. To protect the weak and the poor. And to love your mother. My friend Kenan said it was to crush our enemies and to hear the lamentations of their women. We are Magi, son. Not barbarians. Epis, the bull god. He is the strength of the pharaoh. Each year, he is born as a calf with special markings. The pharaoh finds this calf and worships it. That's it? He just finds it and worships it because it has different markings? That's kind of weird. It's different than me, it must be special. All right, so just like we started this episode off with a stone circle, uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up with a stone circle. Uh, that, that shit with that crazy tomb took us a lot longer than I thought it would. And uh, it was fun though, it was kind of cool. I just wish the whole moving the things around to make the light bounce in the room would have done something instead of pointing to the thing I already found because that that was just kind of lame uh, but if you guys enjoyed all this uh, that was definitely one of the coolest tombs I've ever seen in this game for sure make sure you hit that like button down below for us you know we appreciate all your support and all of our subscribers you guys have been fantastic and, uh, I think we're almost done with the game. We've discovered just about everything there is on the map. And only a few side quests remain that I'm aware of. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take the, take care of those in the, you know, the coming week. But we'll go, we're gonna go ahead and get the freak out of here, though. And we'll see you guys in the next episode.